Hey, what's up? Let's go ahead and implement this show hide password toggle. On the login and the register, we have the password input, but we want the user to be able to see the password if they want, especially now that we don't have a confirmed password input. This should be able to do that. So let's implement it. So let's start in the login. Now, the only thing we are going to be changing here is changing secure text entry to either true or false. So if I came here and turned this to false and went to and typed something, you notice that we can see the password. But when it's true, then it's going to not be showing that. So what we'll do is we're going to have some inner state here to keep track of what's happening. So const is secure entry. Then we need a function to change that when a user clicks set is secure entry. Then we can do use that. Then it's going to be true by default. Let's make sure we have used it being imported properly. So now right here, this is going to depend on is secure entry. Now here we can have our touchable because we want a user to be able to click. So let's have touchable opacity in there. Then let's move the text also inside up there. So I'm going to copy this, then bring it up here. Let's have an on press, so on press. So on press can be, let's just have a function here. So we'll be setting is secure entry to the value. So the current value will be, we can get it in prev. Then since it's a boolean, we can just return the opposite of that boolean. So you can say not prev value. So that means that you can come here put something you see it's you see it's a password by default so when you click here you notice that it shows when you click again it hides so now let's change what is shown here on the text right now we are going to say if it is secure entry then we want to show otherwise then we want to hide now you see it is being shown we can hide we can show we can hide we can show so let's duplicate the same thing for the other site in the register so we can come to the register where we have the password let's remove this error here we are logging shouldn't keep it so this is where remove this let's also bring in our use state the one we defined up here so i'm gonna cut this one away copy it and then bring it down this side too and then make sure we're importing use state so when we come here, we can hide. So also, when we come this side, we should be able to show and hide. Okay, so this was quick and easy. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.